The white man's world is a newer world than the black man's world. Yet this man that they said that they were about to make, and he said we are making how? In our image, showing you that there's somebody there with him. In our likeness, showing you that still somebody is there with him. Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Let us make him look like us. He won't be the same as we are. He'll be our image. That's God talking, right? He's talking to somebody. You know, I'm thankful to Allah for raising up the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and making us see these things that we could never see before. The birth of the white race has always been a secret. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad says that the birth of the white race is shrouded in the story of Adam. The story of Adam hides the birth of the white race. And because you and I have never been taught to look into a thing and analyze a thing, we took the story of Adam exactly as it was and thought that God made a man named Adam 6,000 years ago. But today, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that that man, Adam, was a white man. But before Adam was made, the black man was already his. And that's not easy, that's not hard to see. The black man always sees, the white man will even tell you that. Because he refers to, to Adam as the first one. He refers to the Adamites as those who came from that first one. And he refers to the pre-Adamites as those who were here before Adam. Let it on. Those people that were here before Adam. And he always refers to these people as Ab Aborigines, which means what? Black folks. But you never find a white Aborigine. Hey, uh, rather, Aborigines are called natives, or they're always dark skinned people. You and I are Aborigines. But you don't like to be called an Aborigine. You want to be called an American. <laughs> Aborigine actually means from the beginning. It's two Latin words. Ab meaning from, origine meaning the beginning. And Aborigine is only the term applied to those dark skinned people who have been on this earth since the beginning of the universe. You know, that's going way back. You know, what do you mean uh, since the beginning of the universe? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that just as we pointed out there a moment ago, the black man has been here a long time. He never has had a beginning, and, but the white man has never had a knowledge of the history of the black man. It's like a father and a son. If the father is 50 years old and the son is only 10, the father knows everything there is to know about his son because he was here before his son was born. The son only knows what has happened during his own ten years. He only knows what went on before his arrival uh, from what his father tells him. It's the same way with the black man and the white man. The black man's been here a long time, but the white man has been here a short time. Now, the white man only knows about himself what he's been told, and he hasn't been told anything. He came to himself up in the caves of Europe, and he, he can't get any information that goes beyond the caves. And since you and I fell, fell into his trap and was made deaf, dumb, and blind by him, now we don't have access to any information that the white man doesn't know about. So we think that the beginning of, of the white man meant the beginning of everything. Us too. We're not aware that we were here before he was made. Can you understand that? <laughs>